Hi steering groupers, sorry we can't be with you, but you see, our invite was rescinded after we said we'd only come if the steering group were transparent about its, um, lack of transparency. So the next couple of minutes, we'll race through what we would have said about us and about you. And who knows, maybe see you next time in October. We edit Manchester Climate Monthly. We is Mark and Awa. We're volunteers with proper day jobs and all. The dosh from Lush pays for printing, venue hire and the like, not wages. We published Manchester Climate Fortnightly for two and a half years. McMonthly started in October last year. The print edition comes out the first Monday of the month. We publish something on the website pretty much every day, sometimes more often. We do event reports, book reviews, campaign updates, interviews. People find us useful and annoying, sometimes at the same time. We have a bunch of cool volunteers who write for us, send us snippets and so on. Two other things we're up to our necks in. One, activist skills and knowledge, helping people figure out whether they they are a novice or a ninja or something in between on dozens of different skills, from cooking to direct action, climate science to bike maintenance. Second, steady state Manchester, challenging the assumption that endless economic growth is either possible or desirable. We wanted to work with the council on this, they refused, so we, a whole bunch of people, are doing it ourselves. Food, transport, green ICT, solidarity, education, biodiversity, governance, you name it. By the end of October, it's not too late for more of you to get involved. If you want to know more about what we are doing, how, why, then feel free to get in touch. Since we can't come to steering group meetings, you'll just have to invite us to your place of work or wherever. That's more than enough about us. We have some questions for you. That is, after all, why we were disinvited. There are 30 of you. How many of you think that the steering group meetings should be open to the public, democratic, transparent and accountable? Will you speak up? How many of you think that the conference in March was a catastrophic failure? Have you spoken up? How many of you are happy with the constant promise of minutes will go up on the website that is never kept? Will you speak up? How many of you think that four blog posts in the year 2012 on the official manchesterclimate.com website is a communication strategy? Will you speak up? How many of you think that the steering group has an adequate public profile and is seen to be effective and innovative? Will you speak up? How many of you think that holding a refresh event in August when everyone is away and not having any mechanism by which people who can't physically be in the room can have input is adequate? Will you speak up? How many of you ever wonder what you will tell your children or your nieces and nephews 20 years from now when they ask, what did you do to breathe new life into a zombie process? Will you speak up?